Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkward Systems. Today we're going to discuss section views and drawings. I've actually made a handlebar here, and what I'm going to do is that this handlebar is supposed to go on my bike, but I want to make drawings of it, right, before it goes out to be manufactured. So to do that, I go to the standard toolbar, right, click on the drop-down arrow next to my blank piece of paper, make a drawing from the part or assembly, and as far as template goes for this specific example, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to click on the B size ANSI millimeter template. Once I go into a drawing environment, of course the view palette becomes active. And since I have Auto Start Projected View on, I can just left click and drag a view. So I select the front view here, drag and drop inside the drawing. Mouse cursor goes up, I get a top view. Go to the right, I get a right view. And I also get an isometric view that I'm going to put about right here. Now, typically if I wanted a section view, I would go to the View Layout tab, which I'm already in. Then I'd click on Section View, and I'd place it about right here to cut this part up, and I'd get this section view here. The thing is that that's not the section view that I want, and even if I cut this thing up on all these different views, it's not going to give what I want. So I'm going to undo what I just did. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back into the part and while inside the part environment, I can start off creating that view. So if I go up to the heads of toolbar, I have the section view here. If I click on it, it's going to allow me to grab the handlebar, see how much I want to show. I can rotate it based on these rings like this. So I can do that. I can adjust it about right here. I'm going to zoom it in about right there. So let's say I want something like this, just per se. Before I click OK inside the Property Manager, I'm going to scroll down. Here at the bottom left, I have Save. If I click on Save, I'm going to have here in the Save As window, I can check on where it says Drawing Annotation View, and I can also change the name of that view that's going to be saved. So I click Save. When I go back into my drawing, I'm going to let SolidWorks update. And I go back now to the view palette and refresh the handlebar so I can see all the different views that I have available to me. Oh, there's a new one that I've just added. So I'm going to grab the section view here and I'm just going to drag it and drop. Oh, let me do that one more time. So I'll put this here. Then I'll drag and drop. And there's the section view that I just created. So again, it's just another way that I can create a section view without doing it inside the actual drawing. So I could have actually created this beforehand, then created my drawing, and then drag it out. Now, if you have another way of doing this or adding section views, why don't you go ahead and let me know inside the comment section. Give us a like and, of course, subscribe.